Okay, now we're gonna talk about threaded headsets. And basically this is an older style headset. Uh, it's still used today on some bicycles as like a classic style. Like this bike looks like a classic styled bike even though it's new. Um, or it's just used on less expensive bikes um, because it's a little bit cheaper of a headset. So the way that you can tell that is it has something called a quill stem here. Um, so it doesn't look like the other stem that kind of came out from the actual steer tube. This one actually sticks inside the steer tube. So I'll show you what it looks like off the bicycle. So you just unscrew this with a, uh, with a six millimeter hex wrench usually. Um, and then you can pull it out and you can see it's, it's a quill stem. Basically it uh, uses this compression nut, pushes up in and pushes against the steer tube. And that's what keeps it in place. So you don't need to touch that. I just wanted to show you um, that that was a different stem than what uh, the last one on the orange bike was. Um, so you'll see right here that there, it looks like two very large nuts on, uh, on the top of the headset here. And basically what that does is both the nuts are gonna push against each other and lock in place. So it makes sure that it doesn't wobble back and forth, uh, doesn't have too much play and it also isn't too tight so you're gonna break your bearings um, and ruin your headset. So to adjust this headset, you're gonna need a headset wrench. Um, usually they're around uh, 32 millimeter or 36 millimeter uh, in width. And then also an adjustable wrench, so you can use this, or we use here uh, a little bit different of adjustable wrench that has, that's a little bit easier to use. So now uh, what we can do is you just loosen the top nut, which is basically called a lock nut. So now it's nice and loose. And you can adjust the bottom nut, which is basically compressing the bearings and um, making sure that your headset is not too tight, not too loose. So again, if you make it too tight, it's not gonna move. If you make it too loose, it's going to, uh, it's gonna wobble back and forth and break your steer tube. So you're gonna make sure that's at the right tension. So you're gonna adjust it with your headset wrench, get it to where you like it. So it's not too tight, not too loose. Feel it with the, uh, the fork and then the stem. Make sure it's not wobbling back and forth. Nice and smooth. So you're at the spot that you want to be. Now you can screw down your lock nut. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to put your headset wrench on, your adjustable wrench on top. Hold the headset wrench in place because that's where you want it to be. And then you're going to lock the two in place basically by turning the two together. Now this may take a couple times, kind of like um, adjusting a hub or adjusting something else with bearings, um, or sometimes it takes a, a couple different tries to, uh, to get it right. But um, once you get it properly adjusted, it should stay for a while. You wanna make sure you check it often though, just to make sure that uh, it isn't out of adjustment. And that's how you adjust a threaded headset.